Hey, Pete here for Studio Live today. Now, it feels like just yesterday that I was last working on this song, and that's because it was. This is my complete a song challenge here in the month of March 2018. I'm going to be writing, recording, mixing, mastering a whole song. And this is episode four. In the first three episodes, I've put the song idea down. I've done some recording of some instruments, and then I did some guitars in episode three. And today, what I'm going to be doing is going to going through and doing some editing of the arrangement that I have so far, do a bit of copying and pasting just to sort of see how things work together, and then I'm gonna fix up a little bit of that vocal track. It's not gonna be words yet, I still haven't written lyrics, but I wanna get at least the intro and then a verse, chorus, verse, chorus down so that I can start building and working on this song. So, let's go. Okay, so here I am once again with my iPad, and I haven't made any major changes here since yesterday. What I have done is a little bit of something to the guitar, so I'm gonna tell you that first up. So if we have a look at the guitar here, we'll just solo these like so, and have a listen to how they sound at the moment. Now, if you remember yesterday, they were a little bit cleaner and I've actually crunchied these up a bit. So how do you crunchy up a guitar? Well, you drive the gain up. I'll show you what I mean now. Let's just uh, solo out this one playing the rhythm part and go back here. Now, if we go into the amp settings, so I'm gonna tap up the top here. We've got our clean combo here, which is fine. And the easiest trick, if you've got a sound that's sort of too clean, you want it a bit grungier, or it's too crunchy and you want it a bit cleaner, is to adjust this gain knob here. So this is just a quick tip inside a tip. Um, I'm gonna play this and I'll just adjust this gain knob. We'll put it back to the top and you'll hear the sound difference that we get through. So there you go, it's a really quick and easy way without adding a fuzz box, without adding any unnecessarily harsh distortion, you can get a good sound here out of these guitars. So that's all I've done so far from yesterday's video. Everything else is as it was. The bass guitar here I've left in this simple bass. I didn't like the complicated bass. In fact, let's just be brave. Goodbye complicated bass. It was nice knowing you. So we've got the guitars, the bass, the vocal, if you can call it that, and our instrument tracks. We've still got the oboe and we've still got the uh, upright bass muted out there and we still don't have our percussion back in, but we've just got the drums there, which is that tom drum sort of sound that, was been, that has been going through the track. So what we're gonna do today, I'm going to spin around now and settle in here at the iPad, switch over to this view, and I'll take you through what I'm going to do today with this editing, and then we'll get to uh, a little bit of vocal recording just towards the end. And there we go, that's a little bit better. You don't have to be looking over my shoulder here quite so much. So let's dive into this track now and do a little bit of cleaning up to start with. So I'm gonna come down here to these guitars and I need to get rid of this crunchy stuff at the end. So we'll tap over here and make sure we pull all these back. I'll leave that little bit on there. Don't actually remember what I was playing there. That was just uh, going a bit crazy at the end. In fact, I'll just bring them all the way back here. The beauty part of editing a GarageBand is that if you remove something, it is there forever. So don't worry if you ever do that and you're like, oh no, I've lost it. No, it's, it's uh, non-destructive editing, which means you can always get it back. So we'll just tidy that up for now. Um, now what we've got here, so as you'd know, I, I set up the sections originally and then I kind of changed my mind on the song. So. It does change section here from A to B, which is at this point here where we go into that break and then we come back in here and then we're going to a verse. So I'm gonna do a little bit of section changing work here to start with. Um, I'll leave everything as section A, which is the intro and the first bit. So that's all the way up to this part. <laughs> Where we go into section B, which is here, this 16 bar section, is right from that bit there. So what I might actually do is reduce the length of this section just so that it's capturing 
the amount that we need there. And what I'm going to do, I, what I like to do with these sort of things is actually pre-split because what you'll find I'll be doing with these guitars is, and I don't do this in my final mix, but while I'm working on an arrangement, I'm going to split out the guitars because I'm literally going to use them like a loop to set up my arrangement here. I'll do the same with the vocals, although I don't think I'll split that out. I'll probably just re-sing that part. Okay, that's all cool. So we've got the little interlude bit there that then goes into the chorus. So I'll just play that back now and we'll work out how many bars that is and where we need to cut it off. It's for the birds. That's for the birds. It's for the birds. All right, so that's the spot we need there. We'll get rid of this drum as well that's going past there. Isabella's not there anymore. We don't have to worry about her. Uh, all right, so it's going to that point there. So we don't need these last, what, four bars. That's so actually only going to be a 12 bar hit. So we've got bar 34 to 38 and then 38 to 46. If I can count, that is 12 bars indeed. So we're going to come in here to our sections and we're going to edit this section down to... 12 bars and there we go back to our song sections so now it has cut it off completely there which is exactly what we wanted to do so now i need to work out how i want this arrangement to go so we know that we have our intro here that goes from in this case bar 18 through to bar 26 so we've got an eight bar intro before our vocals kick in here where we have the verse so i've got an eight bar verse then we've got a four bar break and then we've got an eight bar chorus. So for the rest of this, I'm actually gonna use those measures. Uh, in fact, I might do the chorus, I might leave as 12 bars because if I'm gonna do that break again, which I think I am for the second chorus with a little bit of variation, I'll leave that as 12. What I'm saying, I'm saying all of that to say this is that we now want another verse here, which was gonna be eight bars. So what I can actually do is car, actually this would have been easier if I'd made, <laughs> See, this is where setting my sections originally would have been better because if I already had a section here that had that, I could duplicate the section and it would bring the instruments I need across as well. I don't have that, so I'm gonna just have to make do and add a new section here of eight bars, which is done and manually copy and paste my instruments. When you create a new section, it does that. Just tap here and go back to all sections up the top here and you'll be able to view all of your sections together. How many times can I say sections in one video? Okay, so what we need to do, the drums for the verse is this one here. Actually, we haven't split those out yet. We'll do that. So this is just the drum that has the hi-hat pattern in it. We'll tap, we'll copy. So this little bit gets a little bit fiddly and annoying here, but it's a lot quicker and easier than having to replay all these bits. And as I said before, I do want variation, so when I come to actually record this, once the demo and the song is written, I won't do so much copying and pasting because I don't think it sounds so great. Uh, we'll bring, see with the strings, strings weren't in the verse, were they? So they're in the intro and the chorus, we'll leave it like that. Uh, and neither was the bassoon, that's fine. And our guitars, we need to actually split again. So we need to split our guitars here, at the spot. Yep, so we need to do some more splitting of these. Split and split. Oops, I split the uh, vocals, that's all right. It doesn't really hurt to do this, unless of course it does. And now we'll tap away and let's bring across our guitars. So we'll go copy. And the good thing is that now that we've got this set as a verse, we can actually uh, duplicate this if we needed to. Although I think this is gonna be a pretty short song. I don't think I'll go in with another verse. My idea at the moment is it's going to go intro, verse, chorus with, sorry, intro, verse, the pre-chorus with the chorus, a verse, pre-chorus with the chorus, a bridge, and then back into the chorus probably a couple of times at the end into an outro. We will see if that stacks up because you're talking about the guy who said he was going to uh, write a big band song and now it's like a surf pop song. Anyway, I think we're good there. So now we haven't actually done anything musically yet, but 
we'll just check this transition. It's not going to sound fabulous, but it's really just to get the idea of how this is going to transition back to a verse. So here's our the second half of our chorus, and we'll just see how it goes back into this next section for the verse. Birds. Cool, so that's going to be fine and dandy like sour candy. Now, what we can do is, <laughs> my plus button was missing, so I'm gonna go hit the plus again to go back into my sections. Now I can do the magic that I wanted to do because I know that I just wanna duplicate my entire section. So with the press of one button duplicate, like magic, our whole section here is now our pre-chorus and our chorus again. And I've said this a bunch of times, but I'll reiterate it. I'm not going to leave it like this. I don't like to copy and paste. What you need in songwriting is to have variation. Too many songs that I wrote, and I was about to say that you hear, but I wrote these songs as well. You have verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, whatever. And every chorus sounds exactly the same, and every verse has the same instrumentation. You need variety. Your listener will get bored. And when I say you, I'm talking to me, because I do the same thing. Okay, let's now jump in here. So we've got our verse, and let's just see how it transitions again from verse to chorus. It's for the birds. Yeah, so obviously it's exactly the same there. What I'm thinking is that that second build-up will have like a lot more instrumentation, like with a bit of a drum, do, 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 and then kick into like a really big second chorus there. Hit a bridge, which is just going to drop into some minor keys, do a little bit of nice up and down, come back really strong with some choruses at the end. So again, it's going to be a short, simple kind of song. Um, probably only end up being about a three-minute song, but... We're writing it in one month here, so I don't want to make things more difficult for myself than they need to be. So that is what I wanted to get done here today. This is going to be a shorter video, but I did promise that we would look at some vocals. And while I'm positioned here, like right in front, I'm not going to plug in any mics. I'm not going to do anything fancy here today. I'm just going to sing into the microphone here just to get some ideas. And I'm going to sing the vocal line all the way through. So this one here, I'm going to cheat a little bit and just duplicate so we get the exact same sound. I'm going to hit that mute button there and I'm going to come back to here and I'm going to re-record these do 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 just as a little slightly better quality over the top here so I can get a feel and an idea for what the song is going to be and hopefully it'll start coming together. So make sure I've not soloed anything. Nope. Check one, two. See this is the beauty part of GarageBand. I'm just going to sing straight into it. I haven't hooked up a thing and it's going to sound okay. Okay, let's hit the record button and see what happens. I just put monitor on so I can hear my own voice. It's for the birds. It's for the birds. It's for the birds. It's for the birds. <laughs> Go into epic bridge that goes into the final chorus, etc. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> when you're by yourself and you've embarrassed yourself, that's a bit of a bad sign. Anyway, let's move on. Oh, let's turn that. Ugh. Turn that monitor off. I could hear myself way too much. So we've got a pretty good waveform going in there. Um, again, that wasn't all about the vocal performance. That was about getting the idea down. But what you heard there was that I varied up that second verse. So I had a little bit of different intonation in the rhythm. That's going to change as we go throughout this song, no doubt. Um, the other thing I did there was the second chorus. Again, changed up a little bit of the vibe and the feel to that, um, which is what I'll go with uh, once we get to the end. Uh do a little bit of cleaning up here. Let's just get rid of that bit. That's where I was talking to you and telling you that I was turning the monitor on. And I'm going to turn myself down a bit before I listen back. Okay, so let's now go back to the very start. Now, we need to talk about this opening because I like the opening. I like the birds. I like the big band idea, but it's just not quite gelling with the track. I'm going to leave it in for now, but I'd like to explore some ways that we can put it somewhere else in the track or do something else with it. I think we can be a bit creative here. Anyway, for now, it's at the start. What I'm going to do now is play through the track from the start to the end as it is. And this is where I'm going to have to finish off, unfortunately, because I'm short on time today. But uh, when we come back again in the next video, what I'm going to do is complete this arrangement. So we're going to add in the bridge. So the instrumentation there, the piano and the guitar into the bridge and then the final chorus and the outro, which will probably be a bit of a cut and paste job like we did today. But just so we can get that full arrangement and start then working on instrumentation and bringing in some of those more interesting instruments that I wanted to do to make some texture in this track and bring it all out. So thank you once again for all your support over these four videos now. And please join me again. As always, leave your comments down below. I have been having a great time reading and listening to what you guys have to say and all of the suggestions that you're putting into this song. So thank you again and let's listen to this track. Maybe I do this double time something to look at next time. Thank you. Have a great day. Peace. Da 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 da